Hello everyone, welcome to Sergeant Major's Home. My channel is about barbecue, food, cooking, and of course, eating. I'm not a professional, just a regular guy with a passion for food and cooking. For those that are new to my channel, if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. As for those returning, thank you, and it's good to see you back again. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, as I will read and respond to them all. And now, for today's episode. Welcome back everyone. Today's video, we're going to do beef back ribs. So this, this is Costco, Kirkland brand. It's a 23.39 Canadian and 1.672 kilos. Or about 3.7, just under 3.7 pounds. So it's going to be a very easy setup. Take an extra pan. All my ribs. I guess I'm going to do it three at a time. That's okay. A little bit of sriracha sauce. You can get this stuff anywhere, literally anywhere. Just rub the sauce in. Don't need to saturate it. Just want to make it better for the dry rub to adhere to it or adhere to it. I never made these type of ribs on the smoker before, uh, so we'll see how it goes. I'm using grubs, beef rub, beef ribs, beef rub. Yeah, I don't want to. This is strong. I just actually bought this. Let's rub it in. It's messy, but it's all good. It's cooking, right? I won't bother showing you the rest because it's exactly the same. I'll do that. I'll leave it in the fridge for at least an hour. That'll give me time to get the smoker ready. So here we are back. All the ribs are done. I'll wrap the top of saran wrap, put it back in the fridge an hour or so. Give me time to set up the smoker. It smells delicious. First time I've cooked it. See how it turns out? Hopefully good for the price, but you gotta experiment, you gotta try it, right? See you outside. Here we are back again for our setup. I have charcoal, royal, royal briquettes, and Master Chef clump in my side box. Get this going. It'll probably take at least you know 15, 20 minutes or so. We'll dump it in our, our fire box as for normal, and I got a bit of wood. Now, ideally, I want to bring the temp the first meter reading of the meat up to 185. We'll see how it progresses and I'll explain more on that why. We'll be back. Again, like most days in the fall or winter, it's a windy day, especially here for me. So I like watching just, just the flames dance in the wind. We're not where we need to be yet. I think that's a nice picture. So I just wanted to share that. Hopefully you kind of like that thing too. Okay everyone, chimney's coming along nicely. Take it. Dump it in my firebox. Let this guy cool. Once it catches, then it blows everything up. I want that air, I want that air flow. It's a windy day, so it shouldn't be too bad. Catch that piece of wood. 
close it all up, build the heat up. I like to be around 275, 300 in the cook chamber. Uh, we'll see. Again, I'm fighting the wind. Always the way, but that's that's life, right? Okay, we're on for about 290 degrees, close enough. There's smoke. Smell delicious. Lay them out. No particular order. I don't want to be too close to the heat, just in case we do get flare-ups. Uh, I don't want to be too far away because again, you're fighting the wind. I, the wood, the wind, and I don't want to have a huge fire. So I don't have to. I'm going to probe the back one just to give me a ballpark. It's going to be messy. Get it in there again. Looking for 185. Then, depending on how it's looking, and, and ribs are kind of difficult too. It's going to be tender, so my goal temperature is around 203 degrees. 203, 205 for when it's cooked. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. I'll probably leave this on for at least an hour before I even come back just to check the temperature. It's going to take a while to cook. I'm not sure how long. I'm thinking three to six hours. Okay, so we hit the alarm go off, which I'm not surprised. And again, that's from the back rib, so I wanted it the coldest. Or the furthest point away from the fire. I'm looking at 145 here. 140. How does this guy get? Yeah, obviously the probe something not right. That's okay. More incentive to uh, get another new one, right? 143. Nowhere near where I want them to be. The alarm went off. Smell delicious. I'll use this. Yeah, 159, 63, 66, 70. I get around 185, 190. Yeah, I'm dropping. board here. I'm not surprised. Anything from 175 to 175. All I'm going to do is what I did earlier on. Literally just move them around the grill. Right, hot to cold, cold to hot. I'm going to leave them on for a bit more. Unwrapped. i move slightly closer. Let them cook for a bit more. And then all I'm going to do is put them in barbecue sauce, wrap them, put them back on, try to crank the heat as much as I can uh, to finish the cook. We're getting there. We're not quite there yet. So once again, my alarm decides to go off. But in this case, I'm also looking for tenderness. How tender can we get these beef pieces of meat? The beef ribs, not tender, are not good. So these are good. I am our temperature. My thermometer said it was 185, but let's see. But they're tender. Take these off. We're not done yet. Keep the seat. 
I'll show you what we're going to do inside. Okay, welcome back. So, I just brought the ribs from outside, inside. They're nice and hot. They smell delicious. Take your favorite barbecue sauce, or whatever you have open, or whatever you have available. Favorite barbecue sauce. And just coat it. All on it, all around. Just get it saturated. I want to keep the liquid in it. I want to cook it. It's not, again, I'm looking at 203, 205 temperature wise. We'll double wrap this, do it a few times, get it back on the grill. Okay, so I got the ribs wrapped. Let's see what we got. Coated barbecue sauce. Now I want to get them on the grill. And I'll just keep switching these back and forth as well. I want to get them tender. Around the 203, 205 degree mark. Crank that heat right up, make sure my vents are good. I'll probably throw another log on. I want lots of heat to get it cooked. It's already been you know, a few hours cooking as it is. Uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer. Okay, we'll come back. Okay, so we got some good, uh, good heat going on. It says 500 degrees, so it's probably, pretty, you know, 450. I'm just going to rotate these around. Change the location. Change the other point to the fire. I'm going to let them cook probably at least another 40 minutes before I probe them. Again, I, we want to make it tender, we've got to get to that 203 degree mark, is, is the idea. So, let's probe it. Come on. 210. Make sure. Difficult. Don't want to hit a bone. 208. 209. 210. They're done. I'll take them off. I'll let them rest at least an hour before we open up and uh, have a little taste. Here we are. They rested. Ooh, that's some tender. I don't want to eat a whole one. It's not supper yet. Look at that. Wow. Have a bite. Oh yeah. So tender. Fantastic. Awesome. Try it again. Sorry Gray Smoke. Out. This concludes today's video. Thank you for watching everyone. And if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed and you want to see more of my content, please subscribe as well and hit that notification button to make sure you're notified every time I drop a new vid. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Until next time, start and ready to smoke. Out.